10. Japanese battleship HIJMS Musashi Over 70 years after US forces sank it, the late American billionaire Paul Allen announced the recovery of the famous World War II Japanese battleship, the Musashi, in 2015. The former Microsoft founder's private exploration crew found the ship. It was lying on the bed of the Sibuyan Sea off the coast of the Philippines. The historical boat was resting at a depth of over 3,280 feet. The Musashi and its sister ship, the Yamato, were two of the world's largest battleships. U.S. airplanes sank the Musashi on October 24, 1944, during the Battle of Lake Gulf, the largest naval battle of World War II, when American and Australian troops destroyed the Japanese warship. Allen's Twitter feed revealed the discovery that included images of the sunken ship. Allen had looked for the Musashi eight years before. After his team searched the seabed again, they discovered the ship in the middle of the Philippine waters using an autonomous underwater vehicle, or AUV. According to the US Navy website, the Musashi was a mighty battleship with mammoth 18-inch guns. It's one of the largest battleships ever built, with a length of 862 feet, 263 meters. The US Navy stated that the conflict also damaged its twin ship, the Yamato, and American destroyers sank it several months later when it tried to get back to Okinawa. 9. A Carrier Pigeon and its Secret Message Discovered in 2012 Even as late as 1957, the US and other militaries used carrier pigeons to deliver messages between troops and strategic outposts during World War II. Soldiers removed the message from the capsule attached to the bird's leg. Then they sent a message on by radio, messenger, or signal telegraph when the pigeon carrying a message from the front arrived at its coop, sounding an alert. Members of the signal corps manned the coops to decode the signals. The enemy was fully aware of the pigeon's mission, and they were constantly trying to shoot them down. The enemy also trained hawks to attack them. Several pigeons received the Dickin Medal, a British medal for distinguished military service given to animals. During the years of the war before the liberation of France, pigeons were also used to communicate with spies behind enemy lines, with the birds flying directly to the spy's contact or handler in the United Kingdom. Spies frequently had their own secret codes that were only known by them and their contact. In 2012, a Surrey resident discovered one of these pigeons, or the remains of one while cleaning out a chimney. The bones of a pigeon's leg, with the red message canister still attached, looked like a twig. Since World War II, the pigeon had been stuck in the chimney. Although some claimed to have secretly decrypted the message, the British government communications headquarters stated in 2016 that deciphering the text was impossible without access to the original source code. 8. Nazi World War II Enigma Machine Divers looking for discarded fishing nets in the Baltic Sea recently discovered something much more amazing, an Enigma machine. The Nazis used this machine to send and receive secret messages during World War II. What these divers thought they found was a typewriter stuck in a net lying on the bottom of the bay. Imagine their surprise when they realized what they had, the notorious Enigma machine. British cryptographers cracked the secret Nazi code, giving the Allies a leg up in the naval battle to control the Atlantic. Amazingly, they cracked the code without the Nazis knowing. The crews of roughly 50 German U-boats followed an order to sink their own ships in the bay near the Danish border shortly before Germany's surrender in May 1945. They did this to avoid giving them over to the Allies. The order included the destruction of encryption devices. By the end of the war, the Germans sank over 200 submarines in the North and Baltic seas. The Enigma machine, which resembled a typewriter, had a keyboard and wheels that jumbled communications. Although the Nazis made hundreds of thousands of these machines, only a few hundred still exist. They fetched tens of thousands of dollars at auctions. 7. Bullets through Nazi bunker in Poland In Lublin, Poland, construction workers discovered a World War II-era wood bunker built by the Nazis buried below the surface. They were working on new houses when they uncovered the bunker under old clothing manufacturing stores. The nearly 80-year-old find includes a stairway with three underground passageways, concrete walls, and wood-beam ceilings. Besides the bunker, they discovered many mineral water bottles from Germany and the Czech Republic, as well as fragments of Varmecht and Red Army armaments. The construction crews at the underground parking lot uncovered the bunker 23 feet 7 meters beneath the former clothing and fabric store. Researchers believe it was the location of fierce combat between the Germans and the Soviet Red Army during the German takeover of the nation in 1944. 
Lublin became part of the general government territory after both the Germans and the Soviets invaded Poland in 1939. Nazi Germany controlled it after the Germans forced the Soviet soldiers out as part of Operation Barbarossa. Operation Reinhardt, the main German campaign to murder Jews in German-occupied Poland, was headquartered in the city. Between March 17 and April 11, 1942, the Nazis transferred many of the Lublin Ghetto's prisoners, around 26,000 people, to the Belzec extermination camp, with the rest going to Majdanek concentration camp. The Soviet army retook Lublin two years later, on July 24, 1944, and it became a temporary headquarter for the Polish Committee of National Liberation, which was founded by former Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin. 6. P-40 Kitty Hawk and a Pilot You've probably never heard of this incredible aviation story. A Polish oil drilling crew discovered the wreckage of a British P-4 Kitty Hawk warplane in 2012. In 1942, the plane vanished, and the pilot, Flight Sergeant Dennis Copping, was never found. Copping was a pilot with the 260 Squadron and came from Southend, Essex. During World War II's North Africa War, he was flying between two British sites in Egypt when he vanished. Nobody ever saw or heard from him or his plane until 2012, when a crew of Polish oil research workers came across the immaculately preserved plane. It looked like Copping survived the crash and used his parachute to create a makeshift shelter outside the plane. Search teams thought he probably died while attempting a hopeless walk out of the desert. The aircraft's weapons were loaded with live ammunition, and the P-40 was in excellent shape. Sadly, the plane ended up on display at the El Alamein Museum in Egypt, but experts said they should have left the plane the way they found it. British aviation historians said they were disgusted over the truly awful and unsympathetic restoration by the Egyptian government. They added that the plane should have been left untouched as a memorial to its pilot, Flight Sergeant Dennis Coppe. What would you do if you ever found yourself alone in a place like this? Let us know in the comments and hit subscribe while you're at it. 5. Cache of weapons in a couple's French home In 2017, a couple refurbished their home in Burgundy, France, and discovered a surprise in their walls. A cache of weapons, possibly stashed by the French resistance during World War II. The Maquis, French resistance forces who previously lived there, most likely hid the weapons. Three Sten submachine guns, three handguns, more than a dozen grenades, and over a thousand rounds of ammunition were among the weapons found in the stash. Two of the Stens had names etched on them. One was Pepet, and the other was named Alice. The couple eventually donated the weapons and ammunition to a local museum, where ammunition experts would demilitarize and display them in commemoration of the Maquis. The couple's identity has not been revealed. The identities of the cache's original owner also remains unknown. Although the museum's curator has linked the guns to a known member of the resistance, the institution is currently validating that the firearms were truly owned by the Maquis. The Maquis were small, disorganized groups created in France to combat the Nazis. They got their name from the French phrase for the underbrush where they kept their actions hidden. The French government legally integrated the different Maquis organizations into the French forces of the interior in 1944 as part of General Charles de Gaulle's Free French Movement. The French resistance began with a few French civilians fighting the Nazis in their own autonomous formations. By 1943, many of these factions had merged under de Gaulle's leadership. In 1943, about 100,000 free French troops fought in Italy. 4. B-24 bomber discovered 74 years later Heaven Can Wait was the designation given by the crew of a B-24D heavy bomber that was involved in a deadly battle in New Guinea in 1944. This bomber was part of a mission to strike the Japanese anti-aircraft systems near Hansa Bay on the northern coast of New Guinea on March 11, 1944. The ship had an 11-person crew, and the crew of Heaven Can Wait had only been in the area for four months before their March 11 mission. After hitting its target, the crew was on its return leg when it faced intense anti-aircraft fire. The plane disintegrated in the air, losing its tail portion before crashing into the sea and burning on the top before sinking beneath the waves. Based on the eyewitness testimony of other pilots who witnessed the crash, the crew of the missing bomber was classified as killed in action on the same day. Divers discovered the debris of the B-24 bomber at a depth of over 210 feet, 
64 meters at the crash site in October 2017 after an 11-day search. A remotely operated vehicle investigated the debris. The result of the study and supporting data led to the conclusion that the wreck was the remains of Heaven Can Wait, which sank to the bottom of the sea over 70 years ago. 3. USS Yorktown Wreck The USS Yorktown was one of the seven US aircraft carriers in service when the Japanese struck Pearl Harbor. Luckily, it was in the Atlantic. By the middle of December, Yorktown was on her way to the Pacific. By January, it was at the core of ships attacking the Japanese-controlled islands while the US began offensive operations. Yorktown was part of the US Navy that fought at the Battle of the Coral Sea in May 1942. The ship limped back to Pearl Harbor, spilling oil and with significant damage to its engine rooms and boilers. This is after being hit by a bomb that caused heavy damage. The ship would need three months of shipyard maintenance before it could resume operations, according to initial estimates. The Navy launched the Yorktown three days after landing at Pearl Harbor, with maintenance specialists still on board to help defend Midway Atoll. Its planes destroyed the Japanese carrier Soryu during the combat in the first week of June 1942, but Japanese counterattacks severely damaged the American carrier. Later, the crew abandoned the Yorktown, reboarded, and then abandoned it once more. When the Japanese submarine I-168 torpedoed the ship, a repair team was on board. Yorktown sank on June 7th after several hours of battle, with 141 of its crew killed. Dr. Robert Ballard and his team discovered the wreck in 1998, reporting that the ship was upright on the seabed and in great condition, with much of its gear recognizable to the researchers. 2. A Soviet T-34 Tank When the Soviets deployed the T-34 combat tank on the Eastern Front in 1941, it helped turn the tide of the war. According to German armored tactics experts, the Soviet tank's armor was much better than the German tanks. The T-34's power astounded German forces invading the Soviet Union. Poor Soviet leadership in the early days of the invasion, as well as the Germans' conversion of their fabled 88mm guns to anti-tank weapons, gave the Germans an early advantage. But in the Battle of Stalingrad, a significant turning point in the war, the Soviet tank proved superior and helped to obliterate the German 6th Army. Divers in the Don River uncovered a complete Soviet T-34 resting upright on the riverbed in 2015. During the Stalingrad battle, the area saw a lot of action. The tank was most likely produced at the Stalingrad tractor plant. Divers originally thought the tank had sunk into the river while attempting to cross a temporary bridge. 30 tons of tank was too much for the bridge to handle. The river was too deep for it to cross at the location where the divers discovered it so we're not sure how it ended up there. Divers searched the tank for human remains, but they didn't find any, so the Russian military dragged it out of the river. It was in such terrific shape after its extended dip in the river that Patriot Park, a military museum outside Moscow, began repairs, restoring it to running condition. 1. A billion dollars worth of paintings During the Nazi dictatorship, they prohibited artwork depicting immorality. The prohibition of degenerate art provided Nazi officials with a reason to seize artworks, not to destroy them, but to hoard them for a time until their value went up. Hildebrand Gullet, a junior Nazi official in Joseph Goebbels' propaganda ministry, amassed a sizable collection of such works, as well as those stolen from Jewish homes and institutions. Paintings by Chagall, Picasso, and Henry Matisse were among the ones seized. When German authorities uncovered the paintings in early 2012, they thought Allied bombardment had destroyed nearly all of them. In the cache, there were almost 1,200 artworks. When Hildebrand died, his son took his collection of paintings and kept them hidden in his Munich apartment. The artworks were hidden in a back room of the apartment that he'd used as a storage area. Authorities caught Cornelius Hildebrand after he was acting suspiciously on a train, and they discovered the hidden artwork during interrogation. Since seizing the artworks, German officials have tried to track down their legitimate owners to reclaim more than $1 billion in these valuable artworks. Cornelius Hildebrand died in 2014 after telling the German publication Der Spiegel that he wanted the matter to be resolved so that he could reclaim the artworks that he claimed were rightly his. He never completed his mission. Thanks for watching. Which of these World War II discoveries did you find most interesting? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.